Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we talk about Gravity Spikes, a brand new operator skill in COD Mobile. Guys, I know there's a lot of questions on Reddit and social medias, how you have it already. Guys, I told you yesterday, it is available through an event right now, and you do not have to wait three days to get Gravity Spikes. If you complete all the other tasks, you will get enough points to unlock the Gravity Spikes without having to wait three days. It's the first time they do that, usually you have to wait and do all the different tasks. Now, is Gravity Spikes good or not? Is it worth using over some other really good operator skills? Well, we're going to take a deeper look into it today. Gravity Spikes is not new to Call of Duty games. I know it was in Black Ops 3, pretty sure. What it says is Gravity Spikes, use Gravity Spikes to jump and slam down an energy wave, causing fatal damage to nearby enemies. There's the good side of the Gravity Spikes Operator skill. It's a guaranteed kill. It is not like explosion damage if you compare to War Machine or Sparrow. Explosion damage can be prevented if some guys use the Flight Jacket. And Flight Jacket is very popular right now, and especially in rank. So Gravity Spikes, if you get the enemy in your radius, is going to be a guaranteed kill. Now there are some downsides. Uh, first of all, you have to get close to your enemies and jump on them. Uh, the really, really, really bad thing, guys, is you can get shot while entering the animation. While you're in the animation of jumping, if they shoot you, you can still die. And you can look at the gameplay. Uh, it happened a few times during my testing. So that's pretty bad. And I'm thinking in many situations, it's just a one-shot use. If you're in the air and you get killed, you lose it. You cannot just respawn and use it again since you failed. The other problem with gravity spikes, in my opinion, is in some situations, you might as well just shoot your enemies instead of jumping like that because you would have get the kill uh, pretty much guaranteed if you would have shot instead. But the only thing I like, I guess, is the super cool animation. And when you slam the ground, you're going to have the uh, earthquake effect. Or you have the ground shaking, the super cool noise, the destruction effect and the rocks and stuff from the environment. Now it's gonna be acting a bit weird if you're near a wall and you jump it's gonna still go into the animation but it's gonna stop at the wall and slam the ground uh, in the corner or on the wall i did it in hijack uh, inside the close part of the docks also did it on kill house was pretty weird uh, i got a kill cam on it so yeah sometimes you you jump towards your enemy uh, and you can turn around in the air if you think you lost track of your enemy while you were into the animation you can still get the hit with the the radius of effect but now the question is is it really worth using it over other ones uh the answer guys i think is no for me i think sparrow is just way too good right now and there's absolutely no point using gravity spikes over sparrow i mean try to convince me if you want type in the comments is there a specific game mode that you would see gravity spikes being better than sparrow in any specific situation or any map but still sparrow is just too good right now the cooldown still pretty decent but the thing is the value the gravity spikes you're gonna get one use you might get a double kill if you're lucky it's gonna give you one or two kill and sometimes you're just gonna waste it because you're gonna die the sparrow of course you can die before you use it if you like activate sparrow you get shot in the back you're not gonna get value but once you activate sparrow on average you're gonna get much more than one or two kills usually you're gonna do two three kills and sometimes more and domination is pretty sick so yeah like the thing is the value spyro has just way too much value right now and i don't see a reason to use anything else in any mode and even in ranked i mean i know some guys use the war machine still but yeah spyro is very very good right now but other than that it's really cool it look awesome uh, it's nice to try to get a kill cam with it if you guys can just for the the shizzles, you know, but uh, Yeah, like if in, in competitive scene, I don't think the pro players will use that in ranked multiplayer I really don't think so. So maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it's gonna get buff Maybe Sparrow's gonna get nerfed and maybe in one or two months uh, I will laugh at that previous video of mine, but for now guys, it's just for fun Try it if you want, but if you're gonna play rank, maybe leave it on the side so that's it guys, that was my review of the new Gravity Spikes. Let me know in the comments how you like it, I will leave you guys with some gameplay. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like on that one and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I'll be back soon.
Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.